Welcome to this video. Collapse and extinction inevitable? Thinking that we humans, society etc., will not collapse, or thinking that we will be okay for another decade or so, is not realistic or a negation of reality. I will superficially touch some easy-to-understand evidence or illustration of the above. I will touch on 1. The mortality rates of humans associated to progressive genome or DNA degeneration, and 2. The collapse of climate because of progressive forest degeneration. I will also illustrate genome collapse and climate collapse are associated, which makes the cycle to collapse even more vicious, and if you would be able to solve one, the other would drag both to collapse anyhow. Autism as an illustration of the collapse of the genome. Autism is largely genetic, and in 1995 it started an exponential rise, and at least indirectly a major cause of cognitive problems, mortality and suicide amongst all generations especially the young and for future society and economy essential generations. Why did autism only started in 1995? It is clear that in parallel of autism there are quite a lot of identified and not identified cognitive problems, mortality and suicide on the rise. The curve shows it will not go down, on the contrary it is exponentially growing which is a quite exceptional biological and health phenomenon, and it is worrisome and result of some perfect storm. It is not related to viral epidemics etc., but epidemics are associated or related with it. Other factors for epidemics are associated with are also on the rise, comorbidities that include cognitive diseases and include autism. Obviously something past the point of no return and a perfect storm was created somewhere in 1995, and since then past this point of return, to be able to get out of the perfect storm, evermore. Obviously at some point this will irreversibly affect and undermine society and economy and lead to collapse. Manual labor will be more specialized and more replaced by robots and artificial intelligence, so the amount of people incapable for the needed jobs and without job or social role will most probably also exponentially increase. I see suicide numbers, apart from comorbidities like autism, also as a signal how well society, and economy, is. It tells us how humans that are the victims of suicide thought their life was or would become, and in a way how human they thought, their lives were or were becoming, they were or were becoming. When and while the above-mentioned rather exponential development will drip in or have its full effect in society and economy, the number of suicides, and comorbidities like autism, will also rise further, possibly exponentially too. Collapse of climate because of progressive forest degeneration. Collapse of climate because of progressive forest degeneration and consequent irreversible collapse. Possibly the general public is aware of melting permafrost releasing large amounts of carbon into the atmosphere but it does not seem to know of the inevitable collapse of all tropical forests and that includes the Amazon forest. They do not seem to realize this will release much more carbon into the atmosphere than melting permafrost does, and that consequently these forests probably never will capture carbon like they did before the collapse. Tropical forest trees are very high and some trees have an immense canopy and consequently structurally very unstable and when they fall they destroy a multiple number of other trees in the same and lower layers that were less unstable. For the trees and especially the emergent trees not to fall right away, with the first wind, they depend on the forest structure and composition around them, let us say of an area of at least one hectare. For a tree in a tropical forest to reach its medium height, mother three, can take a hundred or more years in natural conditions and in an enriched agroforest, possibly fifteen years. The time to achieve the ideal structure for stability will take more than fifteen years. So an enriched agroforest is built. The Amazon forest was built over a period of thousands or much more years. Well, legal selective extraction that is not seen as deforestation degenerates the structure and leads to collapse. When large patches of forest or the whole forest collapses almost certainly all will point to an exceptional local event and or climate change, while it is in fact a consequence of accumulating degeneration of the forest structure etc. degeneration caused by human actions that are not fire nor deforestation. If the whole world would suffer climate change or warming or whatever, the Amazon forest, if not degenerated, would sustain all of this and not degenerate nor collapse nor fall victim of fires even if groups tried to burn it and it would still support the global climate. Observation, it would also sequester carbon dioxide and feed the world with organic and health-regenerating foods, but only so if enriched agroforest practices would be in place at least in the deforestated parts of the Amazon forest. 
If observation by NASA or others would be regular then it could be proven that the forest actively sucks in carbon and pollution and transforms it into terra preta and clean air. Ideally the produced food would serve the communities that sustain the agroforest practices and what would be exported needs to be certified as organic, zero carbon zero fossil and sequestering carbon. Evidence of sequestering needs to be provided and monitored. Such a collapse is a good reason or excuse to abandon or transform what was a tropical forest into a form of agriculture that will degenerate further and systematically the soil releasing carbon dioxide to the air as will the agriculture practiced on it and the mining for the fertilizers etc. will. So by only focusing on other sources of carbon then the one from degenerating and collapsing forests is like opening widely the gate to one, climate collapse and two, destruction of all tropical forests? which is another level of destruction and irreversibility than warming or climate change. What is needed is an action plan that tackles all that matters and not just the general public is focusing on. Agroforest as part of the public knows will not tackle, only agroforest similar to the Amazon forest will be able to tackle and in addition feed all humans and animals as it did before the total collapse of the Amazon Amaranth back then interactive cultures, thriving latest until 1000 years ago. If you assist my videos or subscribe to this channel you already participate in the or rather an action plan that will solve climate change and the perfect storm we are in, that includes autism etc., this because of that foods produced in agroforest prevent degeneration, sign name, Bolivia. If this and other channels of mine and their videos with related subjects would have a certain success, subscriptions, likes, views etc., this would increase the pressure of all others, channels, initiatives, etc., to improve or complete this channel and videos or to present other action plans and kinds of action. I claim that with one or more clear and complete action plans in place, that action will automatically follow amongst others because mine and every other action plan will directly in short term benefit all humans but especially those that actively participate. I guarantee that participating will not increase costs but rather radically decrease the cost of living of those participating and the regeneration in general but especially of the brain and cognitive function will start in a matter of months and possibly weeks. Nothing needs to be purchased, all that is needed is to inform themselves about my action plan or any other that would appear. Most of my videos are subtitled in five languages and some are available online in the same five languages. Assisting my videos could improve the communication between all that followed at least some of them in one of the five languages they are presented, and in fact the their capability to read and write in these five languages. I am in contact with professors, and they are prepared to adapt my videos to the level of their education and pupils. Just to conclude, since at least 1966 I have been on the lookout for a decent and complete action plan and I have never seen it, let alone the needed action. This is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you in our next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.